fabric is my medium and sewing is my methodology. I keep my quilts hanging on the walls. They're on copper tubes that uh, we have rings with clips on so that I can change the quilts that I have easily and they are inspiring to me so I keep up the ones I like to look at to get ideas to use colors. In 2002 uh, we were traveling on our way to Oregon where my husband and I volunteered for seven years for the Forest Service on the coast. And we were in uh, Roseburg, Oregon, and we were walking down the street and we saw a quilt store. And I've always been drawn to them. I thought they were pretty and I liked the colors and the patterns. And uh, there were some people in there. We went in to look at the quilts and we uh, talked to the ladies and they said, why don't you take up quilting? I never took a class. I read the book and I found it incredibly difficult the first thing I ever did, but I persevered and realized I really liked it. And I began quilting a lot. I read a lot. I watched a couple of the quilting programs, Simply Quilts, and some other programs that gave me ideas. I could sew, so now I needed to learn how to put together things and how to uh, do the things that quilters do to make them look finished. I've taught creativity classes to quilters both here at uh, Sun City Grand with our quilt club, which is a large club, and, and Lakeside at the quilt store up in Lakeside. I also joined a quilting bee. There are five of us who beat once a week, all day, and have for years, and we do some things jointly. We do a lot on our own. We have different interests and strengths. The club here I was president of last year, it was the directors, the name of the position, and this year I was in charge of challenges and uh, some other programs for the club. We also ran several other challenges this year. A magazine challenge where um, I picked the page number of a magazine and the individuals had to open the magazine. There was the page, there was their inspiration. Uh, there was another one called a Whisper Challenge that we also got from a quilting arts show where a photograph was uh, given to the first participant as inspiration for a quilt. There had to be at least four participants. The second participant didn't get the photograph. They got the quilt made by the first person and they had to interpret that. The third person didn't get the photograph or the first quilt. They only got the second quilt and the fourth person only got the third quilt. And it's very entertaining to see what happens from the original picture to the final quilt because they often have no <laughs> correlation whatsoever. They are mixed media, absolutely. I, um, I like using a variety of fabrics. I don't use all cottons, which many quilters do. Um, I like adding things to them, paint. I have no problem with painting my quilts. I add beads, crystals, fibers, felted fabrics, 3D items. Uh, I make them 3D. I've also quilted vases on occasion. And um, you can do a lot with the fabric as your medium. You work through each piece and each idea as they come up. You don't have the whole thing in mind in my case when you start. You have a concept and as you go, you will get more concepts and you add or subtract as you go. The same process was used with the quilt I did for the Centennial Project, which was part of the challenges I gave myself last year. The quilt is entitled News. And uh, in thinking about the history and of Arizona and in thinking about what I could do that was of interest to me, I find that the way that we're acquiring our news today is somewhat distressing because we have lost a lot of the in-depth actual fact gathering and editorial review of the news that we receive and we've gone to a system which relies heavily on pure opinion and observation. And so I wanted to do something about how we used to get our news at the beginning of the state in 1912 and how we get it today. My quilts are something that may survive me and that would make me happy because I think that uh, they have covered a wide area of my life and what I have thought about and been through in my life and are a depiction of that that I'm proud of.